Taking a drink with Jayco is one of the most basic skills you'll develop, but also one of the most important. I have the fullest confidence that you'll be able to take your first independent drink with Jayco within your first few hours. Here are some steps and considerations to ensure your success. The first thing we need is a cup. I've laid out five different cups here in a variety of shapes, sizes, and styles to demonstrate that your cups at home will work no matter what they look like. Using Jayco with a straw is also entirely possible and is my personal preference, but the option is up to you, of course. Now let's find something to drink. Opening the refrigerator is one of the trickier things to learn and is going to vary you know, depending on what your fridge looks like. I'm gonna walk through the steps I used to open my refrigerator. Uh, it may be a little bit frustrating your first time, but I promise it will get easier and you're gonna learn how to do it and be able to do it without thinking very soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring Jayco's hand in and we're gonna hook the thumb just behind this door handle. And as we're doing this whole thing, we wanna be careful that we're not stressing Jayco's fingers too much. If you think about a human hand, it hurts when the finger is bent backwards too far. Well, the same can be said about Jayco. We've opened it a little bit, and as you can see right here, we've reached a point where Jayco's finger is at risk of being bent at a bad angle. So I'm gonna use B3 to rotate the hand just a little bit so that we can continue to push this door open. So we're gonna keep pushing, and then again, we're gonna rotate the hand just a little bit and continue on our journey. We've now got the door open far enough, for my fridge at least, and now we're gonna get our hand inside and push it open the rest of the way. All right, now that the fridge is open, I'm gonna use my power chair to reposition myself, which is something that's easy to overlook, but Jayco is part of a whole assistive technology setup that you've got, including your power chair. So make sure you use everything you've got to uh, your advantage. So this is a good position here that I like, and I think I'm gonna be able to grab what we're going for in here. So we're trying to grab this glass bottle in here full of red herbal tea. So I'm gonna open up Jayco's fingers as wide as they'll go and get closer. It's important whenever you're picking up something to ensure that it's in Jayco's palm as deep as it will go. So here I know that I've hit with Jayco's palm and now I'm going to grab the fingers as tight as they'll go so that we've got a secure grip. And now this space is a bit tight so I'm gonna give it a slight lift and then I'm going to begin pulling it out. Here we go, bringing it towards us. All right, so we've got this and again, Instead of moving Jayco, I'm just going to move myself in my chair. Uh, a quick thing that you can do to save some time is use your hand that's already out to close your refrigerator. So I'm gonna get in behind here and just give the fridge door a little tap with Jayco's hand. And there it goes. Closed. Now let's pour ourselves a drink. Pouring your first drinks with Jayco is a very simple task, but let's just ensure that we're doing it slowly, especially for our first couple of times. So I'm gonna move my drink all the way over here to the side, and I'm going to adjust the angle of the hand just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go into B B2, which is gonna be our primary mode for pouring these drinks. Uh, so I can see that I'm a little bit too far away from the cup. So I'm gonna move in a little bit closer and this will be something that you get better at with practice, so that's okay. So I'm back in B2 and I'm just rotating the wrist very slowly and keeping an eye on where it's going to be pouring. So this looks good and we're pouring. So let's get a little bit in here. And we're gonna rotate the wrist back there. 
That was very successful. So let's fill up the rest of them now. So I'm going to start with probably the simplest of these cups is the one with the straw. The straw makes this very easy and again Jayco works with and without the straw which you'll see very shortly. But let's just start with this one. So we're going to lift it up and make sure it stays straight and we're going to bring it right up to our mouth. Now you might find that the straw is not in the, the right place for you to be drinking from. And you can solve this by just tilting Jayco a little bit using mode B3. And that's gonna tilt the hand just a little bit. Just be careful that you're not uh, pouring a very full cup uh, onto your lap because that would not be good. So now that this uh, straw is good, in a good position, I'm gonna take a drink. Very simple. Now let's try something a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated, which is uh, this wine cup. And I'm just going to remind you that this is herbal tea and not red wine. Uh, but you do what's what you want to do. But for me, I'm just drinking some some herbal tea. So I'm just going to grab this very gently here. And again, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the cup is right in Jayco's palm. This allows Jayco's fingers to get a really good grip so that you're not dropping uh, your favorite beverage all over yourself. So again, we're gonna lift it up and we're going to bring it up to our mouth. And now I know that uh, for the drinking motion, we're gonna to need to be using Jayco's wrist a lot. And if you look right here, this is not gonna line up very well with our mouth. So I'm going to use B3 to just aim Jayco's fingers a little bit differently. So now that we can see that this is going to tip the drink nicely into our mouth. So we're going to lift it a little bit higher. And now we're going to switch into a special mode on Jayco called drinking mode. And you can get into this mode by ensuring you're in mode B2 and long pressing on your accessibility switch for a few seconds, and you're gonna see a little cup light up on your screen. And this indicates that Jayco is now in drinking mode. And what drinking mode is, is it combines a couple of motions to make the process of drinking a little bit easier. I'm gonna turn the hand here so you can see what the actual motion is like. So now I'm in, I'm in drinking mode, and again, I'm gonna rotate the wrist, but it's gonna behave a little bit differently. So you can see it's doing a more natural hand movement which is gonna facilitate drinking a little bit better. So it's both rotating and lifting at the same time. And this is, this is gonna work a lot better if you're drinking straight from your cup. So now let's try it. Again, I'm gonna bring it right up to my mouth. And I know it's already lined up nicely here. I might just turn it a little bit in B3 just so that everything's lined up nicely. And then we're gonna lift a little bit and we're gonna start trying to take our drink. So drinking mode is a great feature for those of you who prefer drinking without a straw. I prefer straws, they just make it a little bit simpler, but drinking mode is a great, great feature. A quick note on hot drinks. I would recommend waiting until you're very experienced with your Jayco until you start drinking your favorite teas and coffees. You absolutely can do it safely, but you're gonna to wanna to have a little bit of experience before you begin doing that just to ensure that you're not spilling anything hot on yourself. So now you know everything you need to know to take your first drink with Jayco successfully.